Alright everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Hope everyone's doing great. I know that I am. We are hopping right back into our game save here, and really haven't done much since we last recorded, so pretty much picking up right at the end of that episode. So if you did miss it, highly recommend going and checking it out. We did wrap up our jungle DLC excursion. It was really fun. We had a panda party, which is kind of crazy, so highly recommend it. It was a fun time. But today, you might be wondering what we are doing. Well, really, in this game, we have kind of two ways to go at this point in time. We could either keep looking for our ancient ruins, um, which is still definitely on the list to do, or we could jump into our winter DLC. That's what we're going to do today. Let's jump into the winter DLC. Um, as you can see, the um, seasonal events are no longer on here. Today is January the 3rd, so as of today, they have been removed. They might have been removed yesterday, but I know that on the 1st, they were still in here. You could still go through and possibly get stuff, even though they said it was going to be over on December 30th. So let's go to the Island Realms here, and what we are going to do is go into the Frosted Forge. Now... Again, I do want to mention Howling Peaks DLC is out there. I'll probably just pick it up on its own, unfortunately, because I still cannot get the season pass for um, Minecraft Dungeons. Um, I'm still kind of, I haven't gotten that far in it, but as we progress farther through our Frosted Forge DLC here, we'll kind of figure out what we want to do with our Howling Peaks. But anywho, let's jump into it. We are at an amazing level to go through this. We're already at level 50 with our power level, and it is a recommended power level of 45. So let's just jump into it. I'm really excited. It looks like there's some new mobs, um, like that Illager chilling right there, some frozen zombies and so on. So And some polar bears too. Let's see what story they have to tell us. I'm going to guess it's very similar to the jungle one where we're finding a piece, a shard piece to the, uh, the ruin that the arch illager had. When the orb of dominance shattered, it split into powerful shards that spread across the overworld. A shard fell upon this unlucky land and a creeping winter is now consuming this once lively place. Until the shard is destroyed, the devastating frost will continue to spread, smothering all life in snow and shadow. Oof. Okay, this already looks pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at the map. We have nine chests, one secret to find, and this definitely looks like it's going to be a more, um, like, city-based. We've been in a lot of, like, dungeon-y areas in the past. How the heck? How do we get up there? What? Oh, we can go through the house. What? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Now, if you guys recall, in our first episode of our jungle DLC excursions, we had to actually break it into two pieces because there was so much for us to do. Um, we'll see if that does end up becoming the case in this episode as well. Um, well, we had broken it into two episodes, and it was kind of funny because we ultimately kind of realized we didn't need it in two episodes. We could have handled it in all one singular episode, but hey, it is what it is. And what is in here? Nothing, but it looks so cool. I'm already loving the different environment that we are in uh, because obviously we're quite used to our very naturist focused environments um, and this one is quite different. Ooh, okay, what do we got back here? Anything interesting? Nothing, but we do have a pot in there that we could get. Um, did we go into here? I don't think we did. We have a bed here, but we can't do anything with it. It's really cool that they are adding in all these DLCs, but I wish that they would add in some more basic functionalities to Minecraft Dungeons. Um, so, like, for example, having the ability to store items... Uh, would be so, so nice to have. Um, it kind of stinks that your inventory will so easily get clogged up, especially if you want to hold on to stuff. It's like, I find legendary items, and I'm like, I know that, you know, maybe I won't use them right away, or maybe I'll never use them, but I want to hold on to them because I know they are rare drops. And I don't want to have to, you know, down the line, hunt for those again. 
So, it's kind of one of my pet peeves, and I know a lot of people feel the same way. Alright, the focus is at an all-time high here. Ooh-wee! Alright, get some bread. And we are good to keep going. There, there is a piece of ice down there. I wonder if... Uh, I think it would have popped up with a secret if we were able to get it. There's a bunny rabbit! Look at that! Oh, I thought he was going to follow me. I was kind of excited. Oh! Oh, that's so funny. Oh, jeez. Okay. We went a little bit too far there. But that's actually kind of funny! If you jump into the water and you fall into the water, you have to break the ice. Oh, this looks really, really cool. Okay, so we can't go that way. I was kind of curious. Oh, I'm sorry, little bunny rabbit. No, there's a polar bear! Oh, well, is he gonna be mad at me? Oh, he's totally triggered. Ooh, okay, we ate something. I ate it too quickly, though, so I couldn't tell what it was. I think it's, like, fish. I think we're picking up fish that we can eat, which is really cool. Okay. Get this put back in place. Sorry, Mr. Polar Bear, but you're in my line of fire, so you're getting you're getting the kick. Okay. And we're moving right along, really, really quick here. I uh, see we already have a. Uh... Luckily, we have spectral arrows. We can take a lot of these guys out from a distance. Oh, my Lanta. And we do slide around on the ice. If you guys are wondering, we are sliding around a little bit on this ice. I think there's like an achievement for sliding around a certain number of times on the ice. Alright, yep, we did get some salmon, I think is what it was. I'm gonna leave Mr. Polar Bear there alone. He does not deserve to die. Okay. Well, we died. He didn't deserve to die. Can we? No. I'm like curious on like where we can actually get to. There we go. Because there are a lot of like little one-off areas. Oh, well, he's mad. I didn't mean to. I thought we could save him. And I think these zombies actually throw... Um, snowballs. Which is so cool. Okay. This is an optional way for us to be going right now. But you know how we do. We always do full exploration. That is a level up. I actually didn't even mean to it to do that. Enchantment point gained. I will definitely take it. I will take that. What is it? A cooked salmon. I wonder how it's cooked. If it's out in the freezing cold... All right, we might have something interesting here. Is that anything? No, I don't think it's anything, unfortunately. I do like these um, light posts with lanterns on them. And was there really at no reason for us to come down this way? Is there no chests, no nothing? Oh, there's something. Okay, I, I don't know how I didn't notice this. Right? Or how do we get in? Yeah, I'm so confused. Oh, okay. Um, I somehow made it in to this cave system. Oh, this already looks pretty interesting. Oh, that looks like it was shining a little bit, but maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, two chests. Okay. Strength potion and some TNT. Whoa. Okay, we have like a ship. Oh, Lord. Here we go. I got myself stuck. There we go. Totally worth it to use that. Oh, we got some slimes here. I actually need some slimes on um, my uh, all the mod 6 playthrough. Oh, look at that! This reminds me a lot of the Goonies. I know it's not the Goonies, but it reminds me of the Goonies. Where they find the pirate ship, one-eyed... Um, one-eyed Willy, right? Is from the Goonies. I don't know if any of you are old enough out there to know that. Oh, 
Oh, there's a way up here. What am I doing? Alright, and that will do it. We'll get some cooked salmon here. Ooh, a mechanical short bow legendary. Just as we were talking on legendary items, we get a legendary ourselves. We do need to get the skill points off of the city enchantment points. Um, accelerated rate of fire. Very high fire rate. That's awesome. Tempo theft, gravity, power, dynamo, radiance shot. What is that? Has a 50%? Uh, no, we've done that. Bonus shot. Um... Firing a shot also fires a second shot at a nearby enemy. Okay, that's actually not bad. I wonder how quick it is. I'm kind of curious now. Oh, wow, dang. And the more you shoot, the quicker it goes. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I, it's cool, but, like, with what's on it, if it had infinity, it might be a little bit better. So, uh, but that's okay. Let's take a look up here. I feel like there's got to be some more goodies up this way. There's a polar bear. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how you managed to get stuck up here. Is there anything for us to find here? Kind of cool, like fire chip. Ahoy, matey. I hate myself. Ah, okay. I really wish we could go down there, but I don't think we can. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. Well, I got over here, but that's not really... And I don't think there's anything up there. I don't think. Like nothing's being highlighted. Typically if there's a secret, it'll uh, it'll show you. There's a map there though. I'm kind of curious. Like I don't know if you can actually get that map. I'm guessing not. I don't think they would make it that difficult. But you also never know. You do never know, so. Okay, let's see. How would one manage to get up here? I mean, if we kind of did this, and then... No? Okay. No, we can't hop off of that. No. Okay. I'm guessing that that's a no. Alright, how do we get out of here? Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. Let's get out of here. I'm wasting too much time here. Yikes. Huh, <laughs> that dude uh, got screwed. Alright, back on the main path here. The Howling Peaks DLC does actually look pretty interesting, but I'm guessing it's exactly the same, where you have to find a missing shard up in the mountains. Can we even get that pot up there? I think we can. Boom. Roasted. More cooked salmon. More cooked salmonella poisoning. I didn't mean to kill that guy. Feel kind of bad now. Whee! This is actually kind of fun. fun <laughs> it's really fun to be able to slide around um let's see it looks like there might be a little bit of something over here uh just a pot maybe actually two pots there's one over here doesn't hurt to grab the emeralds definitely does not hurt oh achievement unlocked smooth operator so that was the achievement for sliding on ice i believe I think there's another one for, like, not sliding on ice or something like that. You think we can get... Damn. I don't know if it'll show it to us, like, if there is a, uh... I'm struggling right now. We keep falling into the ice. I'm trying to roll over to it. Maybe 10 eternities from now, we'll actually. I just want to see if there's like a secret over there. 
Oh, my Lanta. There we go. That's a big no. I don't know, can we even get back out from over this? We can, over to here. Okay, cool. Ha! Ah, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Alright. Um, there's a pot down there. I think we do have... Yeah, we have frozen. Okay, so you fall into the water, you also get frozen. I didn't notice that the first time we fell into the water. Oh. Oopsie! There we go. Okay. Oof. Yeah, you glide around so easily on this stuff. Okay, if we go down there, then we're not going to be able to get back up. So let's see here if we need to, like, go up a specific way or anything like that. How would we get up there? I'm guessing maybe we do need to go down. And then, ah, uh, yeah, here we go. There's the chest. We will gladly take all of that. Thank you very much. And we are back on the main path here. Get that salmon, that salmonella poisoning. Ah, okay, we got a fight. Who's ready? I don't know if I'm ready. New events. Why did it like survive the ambush? Okay, it's just an ambush. Oh, that's one of the new guys. Our arrows just do so much damage. Alright, I think we made it. I don't think we get a chest from it though, do we? No, we don't. That's kind of depressing. I was kind of hoping we would get something from it. Uh, but it looks like our path diverges in two ways here, so... So that's the way we need to go, so obviously we ain't going that way first. There he is. Get wrecked, son. We did pick up some scale mail, and we'll take that. Doesn't look like we got frozen once again. Oh, how did I not get that guy? There we go. Ooh, and an obsidian chest and a soul sight. One soul gathered. It's not really that great, though, unfortunately. Damage reduction, melee damage. Yeah, that does hold more souls, though. But we do more range damage with our current armor setup. We just need more. We need a better version of our current armor setup, honestly. That's really what we need. Okay. Get this guy taken out. Was there anything over here? No, no secrets, no nothing. Not worth our time. Okay. Then there's one other way over here. Or we just got a polar bear, which I really hate having to kill. But, you know, they kind of get in my way. Like, I don't mean to. It's not like my priority. Like, hey, we're going to take out these polar bears. Not really what I want to be doing. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um. Okay, picked wrong, obviously. My Lanta. I knew that we probably would get something if we did it like that. But like all the creepers, though. Ah! And we got another chest. Totally worth it. Alright, and that's going to be that. Uh, how are we doing? We got one of the se we got the only secret that we needed, so we are good to keep going. 
I don't know if there's a secret area in this place yet. We'll have to kind of find that out as we go. Uh, I got shot in the leg. I used to be a warrior like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Let's bring back that 2010 meme. Wow, okay, this is a big place to explore. You guys gotta let me know, did any of you take an arrow to the knee? Okay, holy smokes at the amount of places and directions that we can go here. So slow. What is this? Oh, there's minecarts going down there. That's what I was hearing. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's the direction we actually have to go. So, you know how we do. We ain't going that way right now. Ooh. Freezing resistance. I didn't realize we could get that as well. Is that spider hopping on the ice? That's actually kind of funny. Those. Have I encountered anything worthwhile? Not really. We are just looking for chests at this point because we have found all of our secrets. We have to go down here to get those. <laughs> I took the most illogical route there. Okay, here we go. We're getting into a bigger area. There's got to be something around here. Look at this, though. All these minecarts came here. I accidentally hit a polar bear. Not many people can say that. Interesting, okay. I'm not seeing anything right off the bat that would make me think that there's something worthwhile here. It'd be cool if we could hop in one of these minecarts, but... Oh, that's kind of a bust. Maybe it has something, um, some kind of importance later down the line? Maybe? Maybe that's why it's here? Um, wow, I'm already getting myself lost. Very easy to get kind of turned around in this area. Got slime? Oh yes, we do, okay. All right, back on the main path we go. And what do we got? Ooh, cooked salmonella poisoning there. Drink potion, heck yeah, I'll take that. We actually attacked him through the wall there. Um, I don't think there's anything in the middle there. Yeah, I think we're good to keep moving. Like, my curiosity is, like, peaked when I have, like, stuff like this. <laughs> oh, what is that? It's an ice queen or king or something? <clears throat> Alright, we've explored all of this. Take these guys out. Oh no, we haven't gone this way though. Is this the direction we need to go? It is not, so obviously we're gonna go down this way. But last time we, we did something like this, we were kind of disappointed. Alright, grab that in the pot. And then we are coming up on a big open area once again. Ooh, we do have something here. Maybe another, like, secret place to go? Another path? Forward? Alright, let's just loop around real quick. Doesn't look like there's there's that guy, but that's about it. Alright. 
Well, let's see what this is then. I can't go through there. That's very interesting. Oh, okay. Where, why are we out here? Okay. I'm guessing it'll lead us back to that somehow. Oh, uh-oh, here we go. Throw that boy down. Actually, not too bad. We can take a lot of these guys out. Our power level's pretty good. Ooh, we got some phantom armor. Oh, we'll have to take a look at that in a minute because that is exactly what we need. So, did we not even get a chest from that? Seriously? Well, that's kind of lame. Um, let's see what we got here. Multi-roll, which is pretty cool. Ocean barrier, cooldown, life boost. What is this? Reduces the cooldown times between uses of your artifacts. That actually could be very good. Um, whenever you're using a heal potion, you take 90% less. Um, maximum health increases. Chilling... Like, what does this one have? This one has swift-footed and protection. Yeah, that's the one thing I am missing. Multi-roll would be nice. Grant's an extra roll, so we could roll a lot. Um, do we have swift-footed on anything else, though? I don't think we do. That's kind of what the bummer about it is. I don't really have enough points, unfortunately, to get that the rest of the way. We do have this... Um, that has that on it. This is nice, but we do have... Where was our scythe down here that had points on it? It's right here. Got six points on that. We'll have to try it later. Uh, I mean, it's kind of nice. I like the swift footed, though, so let's actually... Let's keep with this one, and we'll work on the other one and test it out. We shall test it out as we go. Oh, get away from the ice. All right, cool. Woo wee! All right. Um, two, three, right there. Don't know how we can get. I think we can go this way, right? Boom. Got all that stuff. So I think that pretty much takes care of that. It's actually interesting. It says that you can like go back that way, but I don't think you can. Um, and then we have this direction to go with as well. actually closed off there that's interesting whoa but there's like oh there's stuff down there oh can we drain it what oh that's so cool so we were actually able to drain out this area and now we can get some chests it'd be really cool if they had some of the drowned down here like that would be really cool All right, we do need to go up. We got two chests. Oh, and we pissed something off. Keep moving, just keep moving. As Dory famously said, just keep moving. Well, just keep swimming, she said. I already messed it up. Already messed up the saying. R.I.P. Alright, cool. Easily made it through that. Oh, we died. Oh my gosh. We shouldn't have stepped into that fire. Um, this is going to be a little bit longer episode, obviously, guys, because we have a lot to do here. I don't know if I'll break it into two parts. Because um, if we do, then we really should probably... Ah, should do that relatively soon. I can't move. Oh, there we go. Alright. Got a little dazed and confused there. A 
All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to break this into two parts just to make it a little bit easier because there is a lot to do, a lot of backtracking to do, so we'll kind of see how it goes. I don't know how much more there actually is on this map, but with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. Better yet, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking on this if you're excited to see part two of this, uh, this specific region. Um, if you're new to the channel, you do want to follow along, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'll let you know every single time I post a new episode here on the channel. I do stream over on Twitch as well. So if you're interested in catching a live stream and hanging out with a bunch of cool people as well as myself, definitely check out the link in the description down below. And if you want to join in the community, definitely check out the Discord link down there as well. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will catch you all in part two. Take it easy.